19th of July, but also because we're bringing you up to date on all the stories uh, this morning, not least that big story that has been developing uh, this morning, which is this mass IT outage, um, which there are problems really across the world affecting airlines, railways, media and banks. Uh, we've just been hearing from our transport correspondent a little earlier about uh, the fact that, for example, at the airports uh, there is manual check-in so that is causing delays uh, we know that Ryanair is saying to passengers uh, you need to get there three hours before your flight and on the railways uh, particularly um, the ones coming in and out of London but actually across the board uh, this is really widespread and it's to do with a third party provider uh, earlier I spoke to cyber expert Jake Moore about what was going on yeah so uh, reports are coming in and of course it's it's worrying when so many have been knocked off. Uh, it looks like it could be a faulty update that has knocked uh, all these devices offline, forcing them into this what we call recovery boot loop. So machines just can't start properly. Um, and what they're seeing is what we call the blue screen of death. Uh, this is just a, a critical um, error that we see on the screen. It's on a blue background, mm. and it indicates a form of a system crash. But we don't always know straight away what that could be. Now, if there are any Windows users listening, they probably would have seen one of these blue screens of death on their own personal computers over the last, say, 20 years. But when it happens on this level, mm. we're talking huge problems. Yeah. So, so from what you're saying, and we haven't had confirmation of that, but what you're suggesting is that, so this is Microsoft suggesting possibly a faulty update, which has then gone across so many different sectors and issues as you say sort of knock on effect some of them look like they they are sort of coming back online i'm not quite sure we're getting lots of different reports going on yeah. here um but in terms of people concerned because when you hear something like this you know there's a mass it outage across the globe of course um people people's thoughts may go to other sort of issues but where but you're saying this is this is looks like a technical issue with microsoft saying it's taking action at the moment. So it doesn't look like it's actually Microsoft's problem. Right. Um, it'll be a third party provider that supplied uh, an update, which we see all the time. And so, you know, personal devices, phones, computers, we're told to update all the time. And when we do these huge updates on networks, and we're talking thousands of devices, problems can occur. It is very rare to see uh, this amount of uh, computers being knocked off with a blue screen of death. But um, it, it does seem to be linked to this update, and that has the compatibility problems with Microsoft being the, the operating right. system, and then we've got the problems. And in terms of when we look at, you know, the things it's affecting most in terms of transport, in terms of banks, in terms of media, is that because they rely more so on this type of thing? I mean, obviously, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, safety, of course, they, you know, they've gone to yeah. manual uh, and that obviously just takes longer. It looks like it could be the fact they're all using the same third party provider. And that's why right. uh, when they've sent out the, the big update, those just happen to be the ones that are all using this this common denominator. OK. Um, and in terms of here in London, we have reported some uh, railways, obviously lines coming in and out of the capital. Uh, we, we've mentioned Stansted. You know, they've said they're operating normally, but of course they're using um, manual check ins, etc. Is there anything else in London um, or, or, or surrounding that you are aware of that, that could be hit in that way? Or anyone that's using uh, those providers, they probably would have known by now if their computers are seeing this, this issue, but they are trying to resolve it. At the moment, it doesn't look malicious. It doesn't look like it's a, a huge cyber attack like we've seen in the movies or recently with Netflix. They had the, uh, the leave the world behind, which is which saw similar tactics. I don't think it's that yet. So we shouldn't be worrying. But we can rest assured they are trying to to activate another update to try and fix. Or, or as you, or, or as we saw in in healthcare, the 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 hack on pathology services, and we saw the impact that had on 
on knock on effects yeah. onto hospitals. That, so that was slightly different. That was a, a financially um, yeah. a, a attack. Uh, something that's just come into us now. I mean, you know, uh, at the other end of the spectrum, if you like, uh, some stores won't be able to take uh, payments in the same way. We've we've just heard from the UK bakery and coffee shop chain Gales um, right. reporting uh, problems. One shop in London has got a sign out there. So again, just in terms of people's day to day, if they're out and about in London and not necessarily travelling, for example, on the railways, it might mm. be that there are a lot of places in in the capital that are, you know, card only, for example, um, or people who are not carrying cards. They just need to know that perhaps that will be affected across the capital. Yeah, and, and this is what goes a, a, a couple of steps back when something like this happens, because I'm all for moving towards card payments only uh, to try and go digital. But this is obviously something that we've really got to iron out, and this is where the big tech companies have all got to work together to make sure something like this really shouldn't be happening in 2024. That was Jake Moore. He's a cyber expert uh, speaking to me a little earlier in terms of what is going on and the effects of that mass IT outage, uh, which Microsoft says is, it is putting sort of mitigation in place because it's a third party provider that is attached to Microsoft, uh, which is why the, the impact uh, is huge. And on that note, I think we better get the travel with Lou because obviously it's affecting quite a lot of things here in the capital. Hi, Lou. Hi Lou. Hi Lou. Hi Lou. Hi Lou. Hi Lou.